So we got our comic inside our nice little bag here. This is a Mylar one, but Polly's fine as well. What do we do and how do we tape it so that it just makes it the easiest to get the book out when we need to, while at the same time keeping tape pulls from happening? Well, I did a separate video on the best tape to use in taping comics, and I found that painter's tape was by far, in my opinion, the best option. And I buy the wider type. I'll put a link in the description of this type of tape and also the dispenser, which was a pretty hard for me to find, that fits this. And I just, you know, I keep it on my desk here and I can access my tape anytime I want. So this video is about how to actually tape the book once you've made your tape of choice. Whatever tape you use, this will pretty much work for you. So I'll give you my best practices when taping your comic book bags shut. All right, so the biggest issue most people have is having their tape stick to their comic book bags. Well, using painter's tape does mitigate that a lot. This will not fuse to the comic like magic tape or different types of tape will. So, once you have chosen your tape, preferably painter's tape, how do you actually put it on the book so you, you know, it's not just automatic getting this off of here. There actually is a little trick that I'll show you. So my method of doing it is to make a tab on the tape. So basically you just do this right there and then you just put the tape on the comic. I choose the center. You notice I use a little wider tape than standard. That way I feel like I could just have one piece of tape on the book. I don't like two pieces of tape just because it's just one more thing to deal with and you know the common issue is these dog ears or whatever but I'll show you how to mitigate that here in a second. But then once you have this on here, when you're ready to take this book out of the bag, all you got to do is just find the tab, peel it off, and once again, you never want to leave the tape on the book because you're just asking for it for tape pulls. Even leaving it here, some people do it this way, you know, they'll turn it over and they'll put the tab on top and they'll lay this back down. Well, even that, I just, it makes me nervous. You don't want tape anywhere within any close proximity to your books. So you take this tape off and you set it over here way out of the way of your comic and then you can take the book out without having to be concerned. So how do you mitigate having dog ears on the bags over time, which really isn't going to cause an issue other than just aesthetics and maybe make somebody's OCD radar go off or whatever. So it's a very easy solution. So if I was to put this in a top loader, for example, all I would need to do is get a, another board. I use these long boards that come with the comic book boards when you buy them and you just lay it down on the back of the book like this and then you just insert the book in the top loader with this extra board in there and put it down in there slide the board out no dog ears and you're good to go. So that's pretty much it. I'm not going to belabor the point here. I recommend putting one piece of wider than normal tape using painters tape preferably center of the book with a tab and then you're good to go you shouldn't ever have any problems taping your comics and it should just make uh, the whole process much simpler than a lot of the other methods you might see out there so i hope this video has been helpful thanks for watching and happy collecting